In a significant development, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs was arrested on Monday at 26 Federal Plaza in New York City. The charges against him have not yet been made public, but sources confirm that Combs voluntarily traveled to New York, fully cooperating with law enforcement officials in anticipation of the charges. Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnifilo, released a statement expressing disappointment with the U.S. Attorney's Office's decision to pursue what he called an unjust prosecution. Agnifilo further emphasized that Combs has been entirely cooperative during the investigation and looks forward to clearing his name in court. The arrest follows a series of legal troubles for the 54-year-old hip-hop icon, including high-profile sexual misconduct allegations dating back to 2023. His ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, filed a lawsuit in November of that year, accusing Combs of rape, physical abuse, and other acts of misconduct during their decade-long relationship. In her lawsuit, Ventura alleged that Combs forced her into degrading situations, including engaging in sexual acts with male prostitutes, and claimed that he raped her in 2018, shortly before their relationship ended. While Combs has repeatedly denied Ventura's allegations, a disturbing video surfaced in 2024 showing him physically assaulting her in a hotel room in 2016. Following the video's release, Combs admitted that his behavior in the video was inexcusable, publicly acknowledging his past mistakes and claiming to have sought therapy and professional help in the aftermath of the incident. Although Combs and Ventura settled the lawsuit privately just one day after it was filed, it marked the beginning of a wave of additional accusations from other women. Several alleged victims have since come forward, including Joy Dickerson-Neal and Liza Gardner, who both accused Combs of raping them during the 1990s. Dickerson-Neal claimed that Combs drugged and assaulted her while she was a college student at Syracuse University in 1991, and Gardner accused him of raping her when she was only 16 years old. In addition to these specific cases, Combs has faced broader accusations of involvement in gang rape, sex trafficking, and racketeering. Federal authorities have been investigating his alleged connections to sex trafficking rings, with Homeland Security agents raiding his homes in Los Angeles and Miami earlier this year. During one raid in March, Combs' two sons, Justin and Christian, were reportedly seen in handcuffs outside his $40 million California mansion. Meanwhile, Diddy himself was spotted at Miami Opa Laca Executive Airport with his twin daughters, Jesse and Lila, reportedly attempting to flee to the Bahamas. Despite these serious allegations, Combs' legal team continues to maintain his innocence, urging the public to withhold judgment until all facts have been presented in court. His attorney, Agnifilo, stressed that Combs is committed to clearing his name, and they are prepared to fight these charges vigorously. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist, Agnifilo stated. He is an imperfect person but is not a criminal. The arrest is the latest development in a legal saga that has spanned nearly a year, with the accusations against Combs shaking the entertainment industry and his vast empire. Known for his influence in the music industry, as well as his ventures into fashion, media, and spirits, Combs has built an empire over the last 30 years. However, these allegations have cast a dark cloud over his legacy. As the investigation continues, Combs' legal team is expected to file motions in his defense and the U.S. Attorney's Office will likely release further details on the charges in the coming days. With multiple accusations and a federal investigation underway, the legal battles ahead will undoubtedly be closely followed by the media and the public. More updates are expected as this high-profile case unfolds. Stay informed with Playful Parade. Smash that like button, drop a comment, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and we'd love for you to join us. Thank you for your continued support.